In my job, I was asked to do something that I would ended up not using inside of the application, so I felt like teaching it here. So as you can notice, like inside of the Apple TV application, there's a slight blur that occurs over the image and it's a gradient blur. Now this is something that Apple has not released to us as developers, so I thought let's hack something together and I'll show you how to get a gradient blur on an image today. Let's do it. So first things first, open up Xcode, create a new project, and get started from there. And once you have your project created, we're going to open up a red browser and go to unsplash.com just for an image that we want to use. Once you find the image that you like, we're going to go ahead and download that and drag it into our assets.xc assets. And now that we have that, we need to find a way to actually get a blur inside of our view. So you can either program this yourself, but we're going to be using essentially a UI view representable so that the UI kit version of the blur view can work inside of our application. If you search up visual effect blur swift UI, there's bound to be some code that you can just copy and paste. And so I did exactly that, copied and pasted the code. I edited it slightly so that we don't have a set system material so we can play around with it a little bit more. But we have it as var style colon blur UI blur effect dot style. And now anytime that we call the blur view, it'll ask which style or blur style that we want to use inside of the application. And so once you have that, uh, go back to your assets.xe assets and rename the image so that it's usable. <laughs> and then inside of our content view, this is where we really get started. We're just going to go ahead and say image, put in our image with the name of it, and then dot resizable, dot aspect ratio, we'll set it to fill, and give it a height of 400. Then we're going to put all of that inside of a Z stack. And then on top of that image, we're going to say blur style dot light and then give it a frame height of exactly the same thing as our image. And now you might realize here on the right side, uh, Swift UI previews, they don't automatically generate blurs. So you're going to have to build and run inside of a simulator to actually see what it looks like. And so once you built around it, you can see that we actually have a visual effect blur uh, affecting our image. So now on top of that image, we're going to go ahead and just copy and paste exactly what we have for our previous image and then we're going to add a mask to it. So we're going to say dot mask and then we're going to say linear gradient. We'll give it a gradient from color dot white to color dot white dot opacity of zero. So we're basically going from a solid white color to just a clear color basically. And then you can put your starting points at the top, leading or whatever you want, but I put it at top to bottom. And now as you can see we have, if we build around this, we actually have that gradient blur going on. And then if you want to fine tune things, make it look exactly how you want to, uh, that's where we can play around with stops. Now I'm not going to go ahead and like tell you exactly the stops that I'm using, but you just say uh, gradient stops, then you go dot init, and then a color, and then a location. So the location goes from 0 to 1. And so location 0 would be essentially the top, and 1 would be the bottom. So if you want color dot white to happen only between 0 and dot 1, then you can do that or we can show the blur way more than we actually want the clear image. And you can play around with that all you want. And again, play around with the blur materials and all that kind of stuff. You can, can kind of see uh, the cool stuff that you can generate. So, hope that was helpful. <laughs> uh, this was kind of a quick video just because I had a little bit of time and I thought, why not? So yeah, hopefully you found this helpful. If you want to see more like this, let me know. See you in the next one. Peace.